I would say that we will have lots of Silicon Valleys all over the world, but we'll still be the mother church here in Silicon Valley 20 years from now. Why? Stanford University. This is ground zero. This is Engineering 145 at Stanford University, a startup entrepreneurship class dedicated to helping students start their own businesses. We try and give the students an overview to what it means to be entrepreneurial and to create a technology-based company. And I think with Facebook, with Twitter, with mobile, there's going to be a lot of advances with that. And these guys are the ones that are trying to figure this out. Each student's task is to actually find a solution to a real-world problem and create a business around it. And they're partnering with real-world mentors, including experienced company founders, angel investors, and venture capitalists like Charles River Ventures partner Bill Tai, who help them every step of the way. The best business models are simple and scalable. I mean, I think back to my days as an undergraduate in college, and I, I, I think I had a reasonable self-opinion, and I don't think I could have ever done anything like most of these teams here. I do research in a lab on campus doing cancer biology research, um, trying to develop drugs, and a lot of the, uh, our other group members are involved in bioengineering and biomechanical engineering, and we all felt like we really wanted to pick a problem that had a, a large impact on people's lives. So Heidi Norton's group is creating a new treatment for osteoarthritis of the knee. Samir Sedanti's group is building a social-based check-in platform called Tagger, which utilizes near-field communications technology being integrated into the next generation smartphones. In school, we've got this great environment, you know, where we don't have to worry about housing or losing our jobs or any opportunity cost loss because we still are in school. So doing this project through a class environment is perfect because it's, you're also taking units while also developing this uh, business model, whereas, you know, in the real world, I guess, you'd have to give up everything to pursue something like this. E145 has been around for nearly 12 years, but this session has by far had the most riding on it. Naval Ravikant, founder of AngelList, which is basically a matchmaking service for entrepreneurs and angel investors, for the first time will take the two teams with the best presentations under his wing and help them get funding for their companies. Their Urban Street Guides, which already has a working website and paying customers, and Piccolo, which already has a partnership deal signed in the really hot customer loyalty space. But other groups still hope to execute their business plans as well. In the first three months, we plan on bootstrapping. So we think raising $30,000 among the five of us would be uh, more than enough. We're in school, so we don't need salaries or anything. We think we can do this for <laughs> under $5,000. Stanford is one of the few schools where students graduating from Stanford understand that doing a startup is very much an option for them. Right? They don't think that, oh, my only option is that, oh, I'm going to graduate and I'm going to go get a job. They actually think that, oh, I can either go get a job or I can actually start a company.